let me give you a briefing about what exactly is in this sound bar. This is a Polk Audio Signa S1. It's got Dolby Audio, tunes around sound. So it is a Dolby Digital Decoding creates incredible room filling virtual surround sound that easily beats your TV small speakers. This has got Dolby Digital Decoding and that's something really good since it actually decodes uh, the input which is received by the soundbar and you know turns it into a Dolby effect. So a decoder is much better than many inbuilt Dolby devices. So this one has got that, so that's a big plus. It's got Polk voice adjust technology, which is uh, how they customize the voice levels to reproduce clear, crisp dialogue and never miss a single word of your favorite movie, TV show, or sporting event. This is never seen in uh, other sound bars. But I think, you know, I'll have to test it out to see how good this is. And then there is a night effect, minimized bass for late night viewing, and there's movie, movie and music modes. So that's uh, whether watching movies or enjoying music, get rich, powerful, hi-fi sound that makes you feel like you're immersed in the action. And there, there is, um, you know, like low profile design of this one. It's just two feet tall, not two feet, I'm saying two inches tall, that should be the thing. It uh, fits more spaces easily, wall mount, or set it in front of your TV. It won't lock your TV's bottom edge uh, or remote, higher remote sensor. That's so that's good. And it's got everything covered. It's a wireless subwoofer with this one, Bluetooth version 5 SU. And then they have got all the cables with this optical 3.5 mm. It's got remote. So uh, we, I'm going to just uh, you know unbox this and we'll show you what is inside. Hello friends, today I'm going to unbox this Polk Audio Signa S1. First time I'm getting a Polk Audio product, very excited to know how good this is. Since I've never purchased Polk Audio before, and I want to compare it with Sony or Blockcom or companies like JBL and see how good this is. This is an American company, I'm really excited to just open this and test it. So today is an unboxing video, so let's start unboxing this Polk Audio Signa S1. Let's start now. So I unboxed this, the Polk Audio, very compact. This is the soundbar, you know, nicely built, good weight to it. It's not like the Blockcom soundbars, which are almost flimsy in build quality when I compare with this. This is real good build quality, a lot of weight. And this has got uh, the buttons, uh, power on, Bluetooth, and then volume up and down and you know, changing. Uh, channels I would assume, you know, like Bluetooth and other options like optical and stuff. And uh, let me have a look around. This is a power input, AC input, and optical and 3.5 amp. Okay. Uh, yeah. USB in, I'm not seeing it anywhere. So I, I don't see a USB input in here. Rest everything else is here. Let me put it back. This is the water subwoofer. Very good weight to the subwoofer. Very good weight. And here is the power. And then there's a bar sink, and that's for Bluetooth syncing. So yes, good heavy. Cables. There is one optical cable here. Uh, not very long, but normal optical cable. So friends, uh, after the optical cable, there are two power cables given. American pin. It's got American pin, it's not Indian pin. So you will have to use an adapter for this. So that's not something which uh, is very good. Since you need to use an adapter. This is an American pin. I think the second one also has the same American pin. And there is no 3.5 mm audio cable with this. I've not seen that. So that's not a good thing as well. And there is a remote, it is a single battery operated remote, single battery operated remote. Uh, this is the remote, single battery operated remote. It's mostly written Chinese in here, so uh, written chi in Chinese language, so that's a bit weird. Uh, but you know, there are markings over here to use whatever you want. 
So yeah, I like to just get through the remote to understand it better. So this is a compact remote. And there is this uh, manual from Paul Cordier, Paul uh, Signa S1, a bit uh, in a tall manual, wide manual as well. So that's it friends, this is the unboxing of the Paul Cordier Signa S1. The best thing about it, this is the build quality. I've not even had a JBL coming from India for a price of 12,000, the same build quality. This sells around 12,900, but I got it for a very good offer price. That's why I bought it and you do a review and to find out how different Paul Cordier is. So I'm going to test it and upload videos later regarding the music and audio quality and uh, what pleasure this one gives me. Till then, hopefully this unboxing will help you. Thank you. Bye-bye.